Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Day Classic, and we're back at it again for week two of Mego Horror. Well, I'm ready for this to be over with, so let's just do it already. Whatever you say, Jess. Let's take a look at these main event Mego monsters. I got my lucky necklace back, and I'm ready to go. I'm telling you, Gorilla, the thing's evil. Whatever, Jess. Raz Holly, hit the music! Thousand-eighteen's Mego revival might not have been as spectacular as fans of the brand hoped, but the horror figures that have been on offer since way back in Wave 1 seem to be the real strength in this modern Mego menagerie. Today we're looking at some of the most anticipated Mego figures in the line. First we'll see Mego's take on universal horror icons Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein, as well as a very cool looking creature from the Black Lagoon. Finally we'll see my most anticipated Mego release, Christopher Lee as Dracula from the Hammer films. Anyway, I can't wait any longer so let's take a look at some Mego horror figures. Okay, let's take a look at Creature from the Black Lagoon, of course, a universal monster um, right here by Mego, uh, the 8-inch action figure, 14 points of articulation, official, limited edition action figure with original detail and quality, Marty Abrams presents Mego Horror Figures, or the uh, Mego Monsters, uh, Mego Mega Monsters, uh, Mego Super Monsters, World's Megoist Mego, who gives a shit? It's the creature from the Black Lagoon. Let's take a look at the packaging here. You can see the figure fully displayed from head to fin um, with an illustration of the creature of the Black Lagoon. Um, I'm I'm thinking this this might be the Universal Monsters style guide, perhaps, or at least it was at the time um, of this figure's release. Um, this is a figure that I never saw out in the wild. I know some people did, um, so it wasn't necessarily super rare, but I never saw it, and uh, it was one I wanted to get. Good old John Wilde hooked it up got me one and I'm glad he did because this is a pretty sweet looking figure. I can't wait to get it out of the box but before we do let's take a look at the back of the box and we have um, a depiction of the creature from the Black Lagoon um, standing tall. There he is with his big rubber costume waving his arms around from, from way back. From way back when the old Universal Monsters, the old black and white. <laughs> I cannot wait. To get this fucking thing open. The world's greatest Mego monsters is what it says here on the back of the box. And of course, we have the stupid blurb with uh, Marty Mego right there. And, and of course, all the 8 inch action figure, 14 points of articulation, so on and so, so forth. And of course, legal mumbo jumbo, um, which we won't forget to look at. But I'm tired of looking at this fucking box. I need to get see what this figure looks like outside the box. So let's see what this figure looks like outside of the box. It's the creature from the Black Lagoon in his in all of his uh, lagoony glory. Um, he looks like a, like a fish boy and uh, yeah he's very very cool looking. We have the, the, the sculpted head that looks very awesome. You have this shoulder piece that, that, that comes up over the chest um, which is pretty cool, but you can still articulate the head. It's a separate piece. This is a separate piece, so that's pretty fucking cool. These uh, these hands and the feet are sculpted. They're nice and wide, so he stands up really, really well. The body suit that covers his body, I don't know if it's green or not. Oh, it is. He has a green body um, underneath the suit. Um, the suit itself 
is, a, is made out of like sort of a lycra style fabric, a kind of a stretchy lycra style fabric. Would have been cool to see a sculpted body, but you know what? I'm not mad at this now that I look at it. And I, I think you could get this wet and it wouldn't matter. He would probably dry just fine. Still has a stupid Mego banded body, so the, the arms are, are want to come off um, or, or pop out um, of the hooks. And uh, you gotta be careful of that, especially when you can't see what's going on underneath the clothes. Um, but then we got the legs here. Of course, it's all put together with rubber bands and, and little hooks and metal shit, but you can pose him in lots of different action poses and stuff. Way better than any of the fucking bendies I was looking at of the creature of the Black Lagoon. But hey, this one's actually pretty cool. I'm glad I've got him in my collection. He's gonna look awesome displayed. It's uh, Migo's Creature from the Black Lagoon. And now we have two more universal monsters. Of course, we have Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein together again for the first time. Here they are in all of their uh, Frankenstein-y glory um, in their boxes. Let's take a look at the Bride first. Um, we've got the head turned because we have the big bouffant hairdo. Um, that is uh, sculpted to the head, thank goodness that we didn't make that out of plugged hair. Um, you can see the face and you can still see the whole figure. She has the gown and the mummy wrappings and it uh, looks like green skin underneath the uh, underneath the clothes. So we'll, we'll find out here later when we, when we pop it open and see what's on the inside. We have some, uh, some uh, machinery from uh, the, the, the bringing creatures to life stuff. There on the back, the Tesla style uh, <laughs> fucking steampunkish looking machinery um, that, that brings dead people back to life in, in the Frankenstein universe, the universal horror movie universe. Um, here is the Bride of Frankenstein on, on the slab. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, eight inch action figure, 14 points of articulation. You know the deal. World's greatest Mego monsters. Um, this is the Bride of Frankenstein. I can't wait to get this thing open, but before we do, let's take a look at uh, her husband. husband though. It's Frankenstein, or Frankenstein's monster, if you want to be super technical about it. Um, I personally don't give a shit. We see the body on the slab back there. Um, Mego Horror, um, world's Migoist Mego monsters, and he's got the, you know, it looks, looks like Frankenstein to me. On the <laughs> and, and more like Frankenstein than any other Frankenstein that they've Frankenstein. Frankenstein not necessarily uh, uh, public domain when it comes to the universal version of Frankenstein, of which this one is very, very nice looking, at least at first glance. Let's turn this box around. Look at that. Look at that. How fucking cool. We've got Frankenstein, 8-inch action figure, 14 points of articulation, just as you would expect from Marty Abrams presenting the Mego um, and all of our legal mumbo jumbo as you would expect on the back of the box. Um, very nice design on these, I gotta say, before we before we open these up. These are nice, nice boxes. Um, we've come a long way, haven't we? We've come a long way from that target run with the with the shitty box design, that 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 crummy box art. The box art that was supposed to be kind of a throwback, but not. It wasn't really a throwback to the old school Mego uh, uh, blister cards. These, these are very, very nice cards. And if you wanted to keep them on the card, if you wanted to keep them in the box, you absolutely could. I, for one, don't do that. I open up my shit around here, and that's what I'm about to do. Let's see what these figures look like outside of the box. All right, so here's the happy couple. It's Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein together again for the first time outside of the box. Um, and I gotta say, these things are fucking great looking. These are, the, the clothes are great. The sculpts are great. I couldn't tell you anything that you could do to make improvements on these. These, I believe, were, were somewhere between $12.99 and $14.99 at retail, and to me, Completely worth it, brother. If you could find these things out there in the wild, um, which, you know what, I don't know if it necessarily had to do with scalping or it had to do with distribution. I don't know what it had to do with, but the, the, the Migos that I really wanted, the ones that were really cool, 
these two in particular, um, I never did see out in out in public. Um, uh, John Wilde was able to procure me a pair of the of the Frankenstein couple, and uh, yeah, these are really really great looking. Let's take a specific look at the bride, ladies first. Gonna take a look at the bride of Frankenstein. She has a wonderful, as I said before, looking sculpt. Have the, the the streak, the white streak painted in the hair. Um, nice, nice, simple, but nice. We didn't go overboard. We didn't try to do a a, a a Todd McFarlane dry brush on it. We didn't try to go too crazy. Just sculpted it the way it's supposed to fucking look like. Keep it simple, stupid. Nice looking face. Look at that. This is one of the best looking lady faces on Amigo figure that I've seen. And uh, yeah, I can't say enough good things about this. We have nice little delicate features on the uh, on the hands. Um, of course, it's a, it's the lady body, so it's going to be a little bit smaller. It's going to be shaped in a more feminine style. And she's got the gown underneath the gown, uh, the mummy wrappings. Um, that might have been the, just the same shit that was on the mummy last year. Um, sands a little bit of the extra horse shit they had to wrap around it. This is a very, very, very cool figure. One little gripe I've got on it, and I don't know how they would have been able to fix it. She's a, she's the, 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 the lady body. So the lady body has got very small little feet on it. And so it makes it, and, and she's wearing these, you know, the mummy costume, which sort of bunches up there underneath the, underneath the feet. So it, it makes it kind of difficult to stand her up to, you know, pose, take a fucking photo of her or whatever, so it can be very infuriating um, when you're me and you want to take pictures of this fucking thing and you can go, all right, don't fucking move. Don't touch it. Nobody move. Nobody breathe. I've got her standing up. Um, so yeah, that is, uh, this is the Bride of Frankenstein. And now let's take a look at Frankenstein. Holy smokes. Look at this guy. Look at him. He can do the Frankenstein pose that you'd want him to do. You can just... He's good to go. You take this thing out of the box, you stand him up on a desk, you can pose him any which way. He's 14 points of articulation. He's got the costume. Simple. Keep it simple, stupid. Black on black. He's got the little the, the jacket. The, the arms are too short as they should be. He's got the big Frankenstein shoes. The platform shoes on, on the Frankenstein monster. Looks amazing look at this sculpt with the bolts and the neck and the green skin and the dead eyes and the big gash on the head and the clips on the forehead this thing is so fucking cool frankenstein of obviously if you haven't already fucking guessed it is my favorite of the universal monsters so fucking cool looking so awesome i love this fucking figure and yes absolutely you could go get the NECA figure you could go get that and i'm gonna get that NECA figure because they, they got a few more at the comic book shop i'm gonna go pick one up but yeah that NECA figure is amazing it looks great it looks absolutely screen perfect that NECA figure is 30 dollars this thing's 14.99 so for $14.99 for a toy that I could hand to a little kid, here you go, little kid, play with Frankenstein, you could do that, and I would feel fine. I don't think they would break it. It, it ain't breaking. You can't break Frankenstein, motherfucker. He's fucking awesome. This is a fucking awesome figure. I am so glad I've got it in my collection. That's Frankenstein's monster by Mego. All right, so last year... We took a look at uh, the Bella Lugosi Dracula, uh, of course, another Universal monster. And, and had I been looking at that this year, that would have been a clean sweep for the Universal monsters. Um, but however, I already looked at the Bella Lugosi Dracula, and that's a great figure. I love that figure. I've still got it. It's right over here. But this is the the Dracula that I I like as far as the the films are concerned. Much more, <laughs> because uh, not only did Christopher Lee star as, as Dracula in, in one movie, he, he starred in Dracula as many movies, uh, beginning with the horror of Dracula. Uh, in Christopher Lee's Dracula, um, to me, um, w w in full color, with lots of blood, it, it, to me, is, is the definitive Dracula, at least for me, um, and I fucking love it. And I love the look of this fucking figure so far. We've got the big dead tree in the background. Hammer! Dracula, 8-inch figure, 14 points articulation, official, limited edition, action figure with original detail and quality. Marty Abrams presents Mego 
Hammer Dracula. There he is. He's fucking, he's got his red eyes. He's super cool. Um, got a coffin in the background behind him to kind of set him off. He pops off of the back of the box. Um, if he had, if that hadn't been there, maybe he would have blended in the back with all the black. Um, it looks like the inside of the cape is red. And we're going to take a look and see what he looks like outside the box. In a minute, after we take a look at the back, look at the design on this fucking thing. Um, oh my god, this thing is so fucking cool. Um, we got the depiction of Christopher Lee with the in black and white with the red blood streaming down. Um, the hammer Dracula um, design and and just the, the way that this has been handled. This thing has got to be one of my favorite figures to come out um, for Mego. Um, in recent in recent memory, um, just because I do, I just love the design of the of the character to begin with, and I really really like what a good job Migo did with this fucking figure. I can't wait anymore. Let's see what it looks like outside of the box. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What a fantastic looking figure we have here in the uh, hammer dracula uh, christopher lee as dracula what a sculpt what a costume he's got the pants the jacket a uh, little undershirt underneath here they got the cape i want to see what the undershirt looks like we got the the shirt and tie underneath um attaches with velcro very very cool we have the the red cape the big collar um, with the with the big ass collar uh, the, that you would expect in this the nice looking the sort of a satin finish on the inside a very very cool design very cool look wow I am super impressed with this fucking Dracula I am so glad that I got this one um, one of my uh, most favorite figures um, to have come out. I know I just said that about the Frankenstein figure, but goddamn, look at this thing. It's fucking great. Um, I can't wait to, to set this up on the shelf and, and put them with the rest of the horror icons that I have in, in Mego or 8-inch clothed figure form. Um, God, I mean, what else can you say about this thing? It's fantastic. It's one of the best things I've seen so far, and uh, Mego did an excellent Excellent job. It's Hammer Dracula. All right, so at the end of the day, wow, what a set of figures uh, that Mego has provided. There are little issues. There's little strings hanging off of pieces of the costume. Um, Dracula here has, a, has one fucking shoe that looks like it's splitting apart for some reason. Yeah, there's always gonna be little issues when it comes to Mego. For some fucking reason, um, they have, have struggled to get their shit together over the past few years. But when they do, when they do uh, uh, want to, they can come up with some really really great looking stuff as we can see right here all four of these figures are are very desirable very awesome and would fit into any horror collection i would recommend these this isn't one of those situations where i would say well if you must get everything with universal monsters on it you should get these no i wouldn't say this i would say anybody um that it's into horror stuff can collect these and it's all great it's all in the same scale and they are all can stand them all up next to each other. They've got nice little outfits. They've got great looking sculpts. And for the most part, or until just recently, they've been very, very affordable. So, so when it comes to, to Mego monsters, fucking uh, dude, these things are fucking awesome. Happy Halloween, everybody! Well, that's it for Mego horror and Halloween. What did you guys think of these figures? Let us know in the comments down below. I think you better look out behind you, gorilla. What? This is impossible. I threw it away. In the big can. Outside. It just keeps coming back. I told you that necklace was evil, Gorilla. It's not the necklace, Jesse. It never was the necklace. It's this damn doll. He called it a doll. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid pig dog mansion! <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, uh, oh, happy Halloween, everybody!